In this last video on factorizing, we are going to look at Nick's examples. You will find this on page 108 in the Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Factorize when to use which method. Note, they will just say factorize. You must identify which method to use. If there's two terms, it can either be a common factor and or difference between two squares. If there's three terms, it can either be a common factor and or quadratic expression trinomial. If it's four or more terms, a common factor and or grouping. Did you see that every time I start with common factor? So you must always try to take out a common factor first. And then if it's two terms, try difference between two squares. Three terms, trinomial. Four or six or more terms, try grouping. Okay. This is quite challenging, but I want you to stop the video and I want you first to try all the sums marked in red. And then as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Or otherwise, you can look at the video, you can try one, look at the video, try one, look at the video until you are at the bottom. But let's start. I start with number one, and the first one marked is number E. And it's going to be 12a x3 plus 18a3x. Now, always start by counting the terms 1, 2. Now, now, what did we say? If it's two terms, always first common factor. And then you can see if, it's this, if there's something more. Now, if you take out the common factor here, you can just say the biggest number I can take out. You can take out 3, but it's not the biggest one. The biggest one will be 6. And then a, because it's a to the power, and then x. Because the smallest exponent is here 1, and the smallest exponent there is also a 1. And then I just divide, and I get 2. The a's cancel, and it's x squared. Okay. And then I do the same. I divide, and that's going to be 3. And it's going to be a squared and the x cancel. And I check, is this difference between two squares? No. So this sum was just taking out a common factor. Or actually the highest common factor. Okay. Let's move on to number k. Now number k is 81 minus x squared. Now it's two terms. Always start. Can you take out the common factor? No. Can it be difference between two squares? Yes. Because there's two terms with a negative. The numbers will be square numbers and the exponents will be divisible by two. So remember, it was that two brackets, one plus, one minus, take the square root nine, take the square root x and repeat it there. And also remember, Check, can this one go further? No, because it's not the x squared. If there was an x squared, it could have factorized further. Okay, then I'm going to look at number O. So this was y squared minus 8y plus 15. Now, can I take out a common factor? No. Move on. Is it a trinomial? Yes, y squared y without a y. Is it in group A or is it in group B? This is in group A. So I must remember to add the other cross products. So let's just start. But I can first write for myself here. It's one and one. And now you're good. Now you don't have to write all. You can just try. Okay, I'm going to think I'm going to try five and three. So let's see. Five plus three, because it's group A, it's going to be eight. The signs will be the same and both will take the sign of the middle. So negative, negative y y so my final answer will be y minus 5 and y minus 3 and that will be my final answer and remember these brackets can be swapped okay and now the next one is number r this is going to be a squared minus 20 a minus 21 and this is again going to be in group look there look there 
B. But it's again a trinomial. I cannot take out a common factor. And again, don't write all down now. Now you're, you're supposed to be good. And you, you can just say, okay, I think I'm going to try 1 and 1 and 21 and 1, or 1 and 21. doesn't matter because it's in group B. I must subtract, remember? So 21 minus 1, it's going to be 20. And the signs, the biggest over cross product, is going to get this sign, which is a negative, and this is a positive, and then it's a squared a, so it's going to be a, a. So I'm going to find an answer of a minus 21 and a plus 1. And that will be my final answer. Okay, and then I'm going to look at number 2a. And this is going to be 6k plus 3q minus 2kp minus p. Now, you cannot take out a common factor. It's four terms. So what are you going to do? So I just want to show you here. No, I want to take root. This was trinomials. And this was difference bin, between two squares. Okay. And this will be grouping. So I'm, I'm going to take out a common factor here. So take out 3, it will only be, so it will be 2k plus q. Now be careful for that negative, remember always focus on the signs then. So if I take out p and I divide, it's going to be 2k and if I divide, if the sign's going to change, negative divides a negative is a positive. Can you see? Not a negative, it's a positive. And the P cancel in its Q. And then I'm just going to write, do you see the brackets are the same? So it's going to be 2K plus Q. And it's going to be 3 minus B. And it's going, okay, so it's going to be 2K plus Q and 3 minus B. That will be your final answer. Okay, I'm just going to make space. Okay, and now we're going to do number 4 the last one. And, and they like asking it like this in the exam. So if they say factorize, now it, you can very clearly see that, oh, I just want to take another color. So it's going to be t squared minus 4. And this is going to be t minus 2, t plus 2. Okay. And then this is number A, and this is number B. So in this case, it's going to be A T squared minus 4A plus 2 T squared minus 8. Now, remember it's four terms, and if it's four terms, always try grouping if you cannot take out a common factor. So take out A, and then you're going to get T squared minus 4. It's positive, so the signs is not going to be a problem. Take out 2, and it's going to be T squared minus 4. And then take out, do you see? Take out T squared minus 4. And it's going to be A plus 2. And can you see why they let you do A? Because a lot of learners will stop now, but it's not the final. Look there, you can 
this is the same as this. You can again factorize. So they were actually trying to help you by giving you A. So now you will just, this is difference between two squares, just like the number A. So it's 2 and it's T plus 2 and it's A plus 2. I'm just repeating that one. So they want you actually, and I just want to show it with a red, they wanted you just to take that and put it there and recognize that this is the same as this. It will be very good that you try the whole exercise before you move on.